Hi everyone, this is For the Love of Comics and in this episode we're going to be taking a quick look at the convoluted and checkered publishing history of Castle Waiting. If you're interested in a general introduction to this wonderful magical series, check out our What is Castle Waiting video linked above. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Linda Medley self-publishing Castle Waiting through Oleo Press, moving on and collaborating with Jeff Smith's cartoon books, coming back to publishing by herself, and then finally working with Fantagraphics to the end of the second volume. In looking through these, we'll also be touching upon the difficulties of self-publishing and the kind of sacrifices and gaps in publishing that Linda Medley had to deal with in order to tell this story over the many years that it has taken. So without further ado, let's get into the checkered publishing history of Castle Waiting. The story of Castle Waiting starts with The Curse of Brambley Hedge, a standalone prequel setting up the world of Castle Waiting that Linda Medley self-published in 1996 thanks to a Zeric Foundation grant. The Curse of Brambley Hedge tells the story of Sleeping Beauty in a version that takes the point of view of those left behind once the princess and the prince have ridden off into the sunset. The castle that they leave behind becomes the castle of the title and the people who flock to this castle from now on make up the cast of characters and the stories that the rest of the series will deal with. The series proper began with number one published the next year in 1997 which also saw the publication of number two number three and number four. These first four issues introduce the character of Lady Jane and the other characters inhabiting Castle Waiting as she encounters them. 1998, the following year, saw the publication of issues number five, six and seven. After the publication of issue number seven in 1998, Castle Waiting went on hiatus for about a year. In the hiatus issue, published between issues 7 and the subsequent issues, Linda Medley explains why financially she needs to go and work on other projects, which included Books of Fairy, in order to keep being able to afford self-publishing Castle Waiting as she was doing. She also explains that she's looking at other publishers to help her distribute Castle Waiting, and this issue contains non-Castle Waiting stories and pieces of writing by Linda Medley. In the hiatus issue, Linda Medley also explains that the next arc is a multi-issue six or seven part arc that she didn't want to start and then abandon midway in order to go on break. So rather than start and then go on break, she had the hiatus issue with non-Castle Waiting stories as well as autobiographical write-up in order to bridge the gap before starting the next arc. Two years after the last Castle Waiting story was published in 1998, Castle Waiting returned in 2000, starting the brand new arc Solicitine. Solicitine Part 1, which would have been issue number 8, also saw Castle Waiting moving to cartoon books, Jeff Smith's publishing house, and was numbered at 1, starting a brand new numbering series. In July of 2000, Cartoon Books published Solicity in Part 1 in Issue 1. October of 2000 saw the publication of Issue 2, Solicity in Part 2. December of 2000 saw the publication of Issue 3, Solicity in Part 3. And February 2001 saw the publication of Issue Number 4, Solicity in Part 4. Unfortunately, these were the only four issues that Cartoon Books brought out of Castle Waiting. The relationship between Linda Medley and Cartoon Books lasted even less time than Jeff Smith's own relationship with Image Comics Publishing Bone had lasted. And after these four issues dissatisfied with the distribution, Linda Medley and Jeff Smith parted ways contractually on the publication of Castle Waiting. The first issue of Castle Waiting by Cartoon Books does feature a backup story in which the three Bone cousins visit Castle Waiting, a rarely seen crossover since this has not been published anywhere else that I know of. Till February 2001 saw the last Castle Waiting published by Cartoon Books, after which it would return back to Linda Medley self-publishing under Olio. 
Although cartoon books had numbered them 1, 2, 3 and 4, upon returning to Olio, Linda Medley reverted to the original numbering. So you had the original 7, the 4 from cartoon books, making it 11, and then 2001 sees number 12. Issues 12, 13 and 14 from Olio contained Solicitine parts 5, 6 and 7, completing the arc that had been started with the cartoon books 4. 12 and 13 were published in 2001, and Solicitine part 7, in issue number 14 was published in 2002. 2002 also saw the publication of issue number 15 which started a brand new arc interiors. Interiors part 1, issue 15 from Olio. And 2003, the subsequent year, saw the publication of issue number 16 which contained interiors part 2. However, after the publication of number 15 in 2003, it would be three whole years before another issue of Castle Waiting would see light. 2006 saw the return of Castle Waiting, this time being brought out by Fantagraphics Books. Fantagraphics' issue number one was a double-sized issue, for it contained reprints of the last two stories seen three years ago, Interiors Part 1 and 2, which it renamed as Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 of Volume 2 of Castle Waiting, and also contained Chapter 3, a brand new story continuing Castle Waiting. Therefore, issue number one from Fantagraphics in 2006 contained chapters one, two, and three of Castle Waiting Volume 2. Following on from the publication of issue number one from Fantagraphics in July 2006, 2006 also saw the publication in September of issue two and in November of issue three of Castle Waiting Volume 2. Issue number four came out the next year, January of 2007. And these three issues you can see have this unique single color, almost pamphlet-like covers, although it's still pretty thick stock. 2007 was by far the most productive year for Castle Waiting because alongside issue number 4 in January, it also saw the publication of issues number 5 in March 2007, issue number 6 in May 2007, issue number 7 in June of 2007, issue number 8 in August, and issue number 9 in November of 2007. That's six issues of Volume 2 published in 2007. The next year, 2008, saw the publication of four issues of Castle Waiting Volume 2. Issue number 10 in February of 2008, issue number 11 in April, issue number 12 in September of 2008, and issue number 13 in November. 2009 started off well with issue number 14 coming out in January and issue number 15 being brought out in April. However, April 2009's issue 15 was to be the last Castle Waiting for a long time once again. Castle Waiting went on an indefinite hiatus at this point of time and again it would be three years before we saw a return to the series. An interesting thing that happened as a result of this was although the story was not even complete in the mini arc itself, you can see to be continued at the bottom of this page, due to the hiatus, Fantagraphics the next year in 2010 brought out volume 2, a collected edition that contained everything that they had published so far, but is one of the most bizarre decisions from the point of view of it leaves the reader completely in the middle of a story at its end. That's probably a more detailed discussion for another video, but we see once again the extreme difficulty that Linda Medley faced in bringing the series out, either in self-publication or with a publisher. And it wasn't until 2012, three years after the publication of issue number 15, that we saw issues 16, 17 and 18 being published, finally completing the story of Castle Waiting. These three issues were then added to the existing volume 2 to create volume 2, the definitive edition. And that's where we stand today. There are two volumes published in hardcover editions available. You can go looking for these issues, which sometimes contain not just extras in form of stories, but great tidbits and pieces on the trials and tribulations of self-publishing, as well as the history of this series within these pages. But the story's not done yet. Linda Medley, as of this video's making in 2018, is working on Castle Waiting Volume 3. She's on Patreon to self-publish Volume 3, and if you check out this series and enjoy it, you could consider supporting her in her efforts to bring out Volume 3. And that's all we have for today. Please leave your questions and comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.